Well, didn't I tell you? After every hard trek, the end result always comes out spectacular. I truly had to give a standing ovation to the Mother Nature's true beauty. Ah, the water was so clear, so fresh and so cold that the first dive actually took a breath out of me. The girls were having a great time. But the star attraction of this pool is this 50 feet long slide. The millions of years of erosion has actually turned this slide into a soft rock. It might look bumpy, but trust me, it is absolutely safe and a whole lot fun. The deepest point in this pool was 60 feet, but regardless whether you know swimming or not, well, everyone was enjoying with a little safety precaution. I was enjoying my dives, but I had my eye on the slide. Well, time for me to go up there and give it a try. My first experience in the slide was accelerating. You hit the water at around 80 kilometers per hour. Everyone were enjoying the dive. Especially this girl. She's the one that started it all. The first girl to get up there and go for a plunge. I don't know how many dives I did. Must have been thousands. I was enjoying every single dive. For me, somehow the dives interested me more than the slide. The water was fresh, clean and very refreshing. Our evening could not have been any better than this beautiful pool. After a hard trek and great dives and swim, everyone was hungry, especially me. And these hot chapatis were very tempting. Everyone were fighting for it. It was a team effort. Someone had to keep the fire alive pass the chapatis around and keep the puppets going as well. The weight was just too much for me. I was really very hungry. Mm. 
Wow. Hard swim, millions of dives, and you are so hungry. And this is the best food you can have. Chapati, pickles, nothing can beat it. Yes. Do you see how the preparation is done? Rolling, uh, pre-cooking, and like post-cooking. And that's done and they give this to you. In the middle of the forest. These guys, CDC, well, these guys really rock. Well, you know, it's gonna get over pretty soon. Everyone is uh, gonna, you know, finish their food, gonna pack up and get back home because there are people from Bangalore who have come and their bus is reaching at 10. So, we're trying to go back uh, really fast. And again, the threat of rains has come down because it's just 4 o'clock and uh, it's very dark. So I think the rains might just come and fall off again and we don't want to be running in the rain again and you know, running away from flash floods. So we are going to finish our food, we're going to run and going to go home. It's been a great trip. Well, having hot chapatis, you guys really have to meet the chapati makers. We have one over here. What are you doing? Making chapatis? Making chapatis for me? Like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Any household experience helping out over here? Of course, I have been making chapatis since, um, let me see, 15 years. <laughs> Tell me this, why is that, why, why are you heating the chapatis twice? It's like, uh, you know, uh, the main trick of chapati is at the end, it's called fulka basically in Hindi, so at the end it should like fulo like swell all the way like you know through like a ball so the trick is you take the thing flip it once flip it the other time like say go two times and then you pass it on to that yep all right super. hey guys we're having great fun but we're gonna take a small break right here you guys stay tuned